my first time to have a go was at Wittingham, right? They were shouting for wrestlers for the novice thing. I was far too young, but never mind. I went and ended. Uh, I think I was just 12 years old at the time. It it, it was a, a bet with a, with Tom Mickey, but as a tanner, <laughs> that I wouldn't have a go. <laughs> I wrestled a lad called Cowan from Woodpaw, born Ingram, and I can't remember, his, I think it was Dave Cowan, right? But uh, he, he he was early teens or twenties. He looked after us. He laid his down nice and quietly. <laughs> and I got wrong at school when I went back. Uh, because before it was in the paper, I had been wrestling. And uh, I was told I shouldn't have been. But it, it never deterred me, right? I, I wrestled from then until I was 42. I wrestled for about 30 years. Yeah. I wasn't the most successful one around the body, I mean, but I've always been keen. And then after I finished wrestling, I, I coached the wrestling, right, at, at Rothbury um, and Thropton, even when I was still taking part, coached at Thropton then. And after I finished wrestling, I was on the, the governing board for 20 odd year. Um, and then I, I was president for one year. The Cumberland Westmoreland Wrestling, um, there, there was a board formed, a governing board formed in 1906 uh, because there was a lot of Barney and uh, a bit cheating, some people buying, selling falls. It wasn't as clean as it is today, right? They set the rules. If, if there's any discipline needed, right? Uh, we try to relax the rules on the wrestling strip, the long johns, the centre piece, and the top. That was just about a civil war. <laughs> it didn't mean I'm not joking. Uh, uh, there was, uh, it was the AGM, there was, they were screaming, right? You know, wanting to keep it, but I'm open minded. It, it's maybe. Had its time, you know what I mean. It should be relaxed a bit, be, because it sometimes puts young lads off if if, if they are out there in long johns, fancy knickers, and a an embroidered top. You know what I mean. If, if they're a bit younger, they get teased about it, and that shouldn't happen. So um, I'm open minded. I, I like the old step because it's there, the tradition, but you've got to move with the times. Main changes for as soon as you took a grip, right? You could be walking around the boat and y y and twisting this, that, and the other. But now we've got to stand completely still. We are feet in the same place, and and your hands have got to be round the opponent's shoulder blades, right? And the referee will say, "On your guard, wrestle." Now that's today. That was a big change. That. Um, uh, and you used to could pull your head out, right? Which, if you pull your head out now, you stop wrestling and you start again, right? Uh, it's one of the few sports that's never, ever really changed very much. But there's fewer wrestlers now, and you go the best of three all the way through, um, which I feel isn't a good thing, because... When, when it was a single fall, the lesser wrestler had more chance of beating the better wrestler once than he has beaten him twice. Uh, the lesser wrestler, you say the day, he'll get the first fall, but he doesn't get the next two. And that, dis that discourages them from continuing, right? It, it's mainly still country people that do it, right? Because there is a decline in numbers, a big decline. But there's a big decline in people living out in, in the countryside, right? Where you got your wrestlers from in, in this area, uh, way above Valwinton, there'll be two or three or four or five families with bigger families living on the farms and wrestling was a, was a way of getting around, right? Uh, now some of them farms, there's maybe three of them together 
in the, there's two fellas in the quad bike looking after them. Uh, uh, so, so you've lost that and possibly we sh should have moved into the towns to recruit wrestling, right? Uh, to get the numbers up.